Since I was young, my parents told me to pray for my future <clears throat> future spouse, as this will be my lifelong partner. I can't believe I get to marry someone so beautiful, strong, kind, loving, and patient. You have taught me how to love and how to be love. T, you're the answer to my prayers. <clears throat> getting to know you better when we went to the library together at Irving. When my friends told me that you might like me, I told them that you just really like to study. <laughs> it, it turns out that both were true. The party, as you dance around I can breathe, I can see When I got your love Oh, you look so nice When I got your love Is it the smudge? When I got your love What's even more fascinating is the fact that your presence here, united in marriage, is not only heartwarming to me, your family, and your guests, but it is also pleasing in the eyes of God. If we look back, look back at the very beginning of human history, one of the first things that our Creator God did was to unite Adam and Eve. And when He finished the task, He declared it was good. That sense of goodness is what I sense here today. This union is not only a source of joy for everyone here, but it is also good and pleasing to our God. <laughs> Austin and T, may God bless you and keep you. May God instruct you and empower you to keep the vows you made today. May God lead and direct you as you together build a new family. May God grant you children that know Him and serve Him. May you experience the blessing of knowing God. May you experience the peace and protection of God in difficult times. May your individual relationship with King Jesus grow. And out of your growing love relationship with Jesus, love each, love each other deeply as long as God gives you back. Amen. Now, by the authority given to me as a minister of the gospel and by the province of British Columbia, now I pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your bride. the one after two years into our relationship. We had a big argument that lasted several weeks and I thought that was the end of us. We met up at an A&W and talked for several hours. 
Before leaving, we both said we are committed to one another to fix this. From that moment on, I knew we could overcome any obstacles in our relationship. T, I'm so lucky to be standing across from you today. I'm marrying my best friend and my number one supporter. We cannot forget it's all about love. I vow to put God in the center of our relationship, and together we may grow in the likeness of Christ and our home be a praise to Him. I vow to lead by example, with patience and understanding. I promise I will support, take care, and love you. You are my love and my life, today and always. As we grow old together, I promise to always have God as our foundation in our family and seek His will, to cherish and respect you just as God wonderfully made you, spend time nurturing our marriage even more than I spend nurturing our future plans outside, consider going on runs with you if you really want a buddy and you don't mind waiting for me, support you in whatever may come our way in both sickness or health, joyful or sorrowful seasons, celebrate your victories with you and share your sorrows on hard days. Make an extra cup of coffee for you in the morning, just the way you like it. Promise to always speak the truth, but with kindness to you. Last but not least, love you for the rest of our lives. Please welcome for the first time, as a husband and wife, Mr. Austin Liu and Mrs. T. Wu. Running tired and broken and scared, but I swear I'll never give up the fight. I see you broken and beat, head pulled down over your eyes. Every part of you wants to surrender, darling. You were meant to survive with it. 